44 years ago to the day, Minnesota had its strongest recorded earthquake. It was a magnitude 4.6. Nothing compared to what we just saw in California. But the fact that we've had earthquakes at all surprised some Minnesotans, like Emily from South St. Paul, who wanted to know how common are earthquakes here? That's a good question for Heather Brown. 44 years ago to the day, we had a 4.6. Wow. Didn't hear anything about it. So probably small tremors. I didn't even know Minnesota really had earthquakes. It was just west of Morris. It rattled dishes, cracked plaster, and took pictures off walls. <laughs> That's nothing for you. It's just normal. <laughs> in comparison, the 7.1 in Northridge. You used to live in L.A. Yes, I did for 35 years. Back in 1994, was 5,600 times stronger. And it felt like a giant was scooping under the corner of my apartment, lifting it and dropping it. So how does Minnesota rank when it comes to earthquakes. Uh, definitely Bush League, <laughs> uh, perhaps a little league. <laughs> Val Chandler is a geophysicist. Let's go back to seventh grade science. How do earthquakes occur? Uh, most of them occur because one rock mass moves past another on a fracture called a fault. And given Minnesota is more than 1,500 miles from where those plates come together. We're in the middle of a plate that's fairly cold and old. We've only had 20 earthquakes since 1860. The most recent was 2011, a 3.1 near Alexandria. The house shook. Compare that to the 20 4.0 plus quakes Southern California has every year. And that's one reason I don't move to California. <laughs> so if we're in the middle of the plate, why do we even get earthquakes at all? Well, they don't really understand the mechanism. But one theory is that happenings on both sides of the North American plate put stress on ancient faults here in the land of 10,000 lakes. So we have some ancient faults here in Minnesota. Oh, yeah. It was... Um the process of building a continent is very violent and messy. So is there even a small chance? I hope we don't. The big one happens here. Not too likely. I'd rather put up with a tornado. Floods. Our priority should be focused on those things. Heather Brown. Still praying that we don't get them. WCCO 4 News. There is no reliable way to predict earthquakes. Scientists are working on it, but it is not likely to happen soon. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com links.